Outside of Bigelow's fields of study, many of them are on things we're yet to master, but their applications would be revolutionary. Among the most sensitive, anti-gravity, or the ability to free ourselves from the laws of Newtonian physics, and notably weight, so as to fly an object with no physical resistance and nothing pulling it downwards. These futuristic technologies require the designing of new materials called metamaterials. Recently, a private company signed a contract with the U.S. Armed Forces for the research and development of these technologies. In June 2018, Dr. Hal Puttoff, co-founder of the company and a former ATIP member, made some surprising comments on the subject. It was a multi-layered bismuth and magnesium sample. Bismuth layers less than a human hair. Magnesium samples about 10 times the size of human hair. Supposedly picked up in the crash retrieval of an advanced aerospace vehicle. Uh, looks like it's been in a crash. In Las Vegas in June 2018, physicist Hal Puttoff implied that this strange metamaterial object came from a crashed UFO, but he's not certain. Puttoff and his colleague, Dr. Eric Davis, are on the verge of identifying a number of small parts which appear to be beyond man's fabrication capacities. This sample was created with layers finer than microns, using a process unknown on Earth and with an aim we can only guess at. Nowhere could we find any evidence that anybody ever made one of these. When we talked to people who, in the materials field who should know, they said, we don't know why anybody would want to make anything like this. So it's no longer just a matter of understanding the origin of UFOs, but of benefiting from them. These metamaterials might have exceptional properties which could prove useful and profitable. They definitely have metamaterials. You know, I've seen the photographs of it. I've talked to them about that. Um, they're trying to figure out how they operate. It appears that if you put a frequency into these materials, they actually can levitate. I mean, that's what I'm being told. I haven't seen it. I don't know the details behind it, but they're trying to understand exactly how these are created. It's, it's a bismuth kind of a um, material, and it's stratified. So it's, it's new stuff to us, and we're trying to figure out how it works.